Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming by today. This video is going to be my minimal makeup collection. And for me, it's minimal. I used to have a crazy giant makeup collection with over like 400 items. And now I'm down to only 30 or around 30. It might be around like 31 or 32. But anyways, around 30 items in my makeup collection. I love having a small collection. I feel like it makes my getting ready process really easy, but still really enjoyable. Like I love using all these products because they're all my favorites. There's not one product in here that is a dud. There's nothing that I feel like I need to declutter. Like everything here is my favorite. I love using it. They all perform great. I know how they work. I'm really proud of myself for this because you guys know I work at Sephora and to have this small of a collection while working at Sephora is pretty hard to do. I do have a lot of new grads I need to go through right now, but I don't consider it part of my collection. I think of it more as like education pieces for work. However, most of the things in my makeup collection, the things that I actually use on a daily, the things that I keep on my vanity are things that I purchased besides I think maybe two pieces. And then again, if gratis pieces happen to find its way into my routine, then I add them, but I don't consider it part of my actual makeup collection. Does this make sense? Because I get stuff all the time from work and I just need to make sure the things that I keep in my collection and then the things I use on a daily are going to work for me and I'm not just holding on to things because I got them for free from work. So let's start with complexion. That's what I get the most questions on, especially when I'm at work. People want to know what I'm wearing, what I currently use, because my skin always looks like skin. It's just like a little bit more perfected. You can still see my freckles, but in general, it's just evened out and I just don't like a heavy foundation. So the only thing I use on my face is my Misha BB cream. It's similar to at work at Sephora. It's like the Dr. Jart BB cream. It's very similar. Um, this one has a few more shades, which is why I use this one. It's also a little bit less pricey. So it's um, the Misha Perfect Cover BB cream. It has SPF 42. This is the shade 21. In the summertime, I do go to shade 23. They're pretty close in color. I love it. It's almost gone. Has SPF. It has some great skincare benefits in there. And it just makes my skin, again, look like skin. It has decent coverage. You can have it sheer to light. You can build it up to medium if I wanted to. And it just looks nice. It has a nice natural finish. It doesn't look super dewy. I have it on right now. And it's just the only thing that I use on my face. I love it. My skin loves it. And it just makes me feel put together, but not covered covered, which is what I prefer. For primer, I don't use it all the time, but on days that I feel a little bit drier than normal, I do have my Hourglass number 28 primer, and this is just their little travel size. And I used to say like when I'm done with this travel size, I'd purchase the full size, but I think next time I'm just going to purchase the travel size because I purchased this back in August and it's still as you can see half full I only use like a pump at a time when I do need it again I don't use it every single day but if I feel like around my nose is especially dry or maybe in my t-zone is especially dry I'll just add this to those areas and it just like really gives some a burst of hydration it has like 14 different oils in there so really hydrating but also has like this it almost feels silicone -y, but it's not it's just like I think it's called like lipid oils but it makes it smooth so if you maybe I have pores that are larger that day it will hydrate but also like fill in pores and it just makes my skin look amazing but again I probably wouldn't purchase the full size I just continuously buying these mini guys because it lasts a really long time a little bit goes an extremely long way so love this only primer that I have and then the only concealer that I have currently is the Charlotte Tilbury um, color corrector in the shade fair and this is what I use most days um, if I feel like my under eyes are especially dark or maybe I don't want to do a full face I just need a little spot concealing and then like maybe a powder on top I'll use this um, it's just a really nice creamy consistency I don't know if you can tell there's definitely like a big dip in it I just use my finger with it and just blend it it's super easy to use and the packaging is super cute Again, a little bit goes an extremely long way and it just works for me, so that's what I've been using. I got it instead of the Glossier Stretch Concealer just because the Glossier one I've used in the past and I loved it, but I feel like sometimes they're a little bit like too like movable, where this one kind of stays in place a little bit better, so I like that one a lot. Moving on to powders, I do have two, but I really don't need both. Um, the first one is the setting powder that I used, which is the Hourglass 
first off, okay, I need to just mention this. It's gonna look like I'm like sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury or Hourglass, which is not the case. I bought all of these on my own. I just really love their packaging. And if I'm going to only have one or two of an item, I like to have things that look luxury. Um, I mean, you can definitely get things that are just as good at the drugstore. But I work at Sephora, so I like to just have things in my collection that I can you know, talk about at work. This is the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. It's lovely, especially if you have drier skin because it doesn't look super dry or cakey on the face. I just do a light dusting every once in a while. I don't use it all the time. This little guy I also bought around August and there's still plenty of product in here. Um, but I'm not sure now if I would actually repurchase this because I don't use it enough to justify the price. Like I'm getting my money's worth, I'm using it up, but I just don't think I need it on the daily, so I don't think I need to invest in something like this. However, I do like having this powder, and I feel like this is something I would repurchase versus the loose setting powder. This is the, air, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. It's in the shade Fair. So one, this packaging is freaking adorable. Like, look at that. But this is their finishing powder and I would prefer this over the setting powder just because this just adds the slightest bit of coverage not even coverage I feel like it just like evens things out just a little bit so maybe I went a little crazy with my bronzer or maybe I just need like a more airbrushed finish this does the trick is that what it's called it is called airbrush <laughs> anyways it, it's just like makes everything smooth and really blended and just really seamless so I really love having something like this and I think I would repurchase this over the hourglass but I love having both currently once I use the hourglass one up though I don't see myself repurchasing this one however is just a beautiful finish and I love using it and it's just it definitely has saved me a few times when I've gone a little heavy with the bronzer the next thing I have is this trio from hourglass this is their uh, ambient lighting palette and I got this when I was doing my sister's bridal makeup to give like that ethereal glow and I love having it I don't use it enough this is a product I definitely need to like bring to the surface it's beautiful it's really pretty it definitely gives my skin like a just a gentle light to it without being like super shimmery or like have like micro glitters but I really love it I really love using it I just need to use it more often I think in the future though if I was to like go back in time I'd probably just buy like one shade that works me versus like the whole palette. Do you like having it? It's just something that in the past I wish I had done a little bit differently. Um, for highlights, I have one cream and one powder. The powder one I'm just trying to use up. Um, I don't see myself repurchasing it, but I did purchase it and I do want to get at least some use out of it. And this is my little baby Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. It's like the perfect shade for me. This little guy is like pretty much the only size I need. I would never be able to get a full size because I would not use it up at all. Um, and then this product I have been love, love, loving. This is from Hans Skincare Cosmetics. It's their Illuminizer in the shade Champagne. I did use it today. And as you can see, it just gives like a nice like gloss to the skin without any shimmer whatsoever. It just gives a nice highlight. But again, just shine. It doesn't give you shimmer or like a glitter. It's just shine. And I love that so much. Um, so it's just like a little putty. And I was nervous that it was going to get like all weird and dried out before I got a chance to like finish it up. But it still works perfectly well. I just put my finger in and like the warmth of my finger just like makes it work. And it's just is a lovely product and 100% would recommend that. I only have two blushes. I have this one from Hourglass, which is their um, ambient lighting blush in the shade Mood Exposure. I've had this for years now. I want to say this is like four, four, maybe five years old. I got it one of the first purchases when I was working at Sephora, but I love it. It's definitely getting low now. I don't know if you can tell, but I can see that the the waffle underneath is starting to peek through like I can like see the imprint on it I don't know if you can see it on there, but this is definitely got its use. I love using it I use it so 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 much um, And it as you can see I've had it for years and it's still going strong. It still performs just as well so 100% recommend if you just need one blush it's going to last you a long time and just gives you like that nice like soft somewhat lit lightly pigmented blush like it's a very user friendly um if you don't want shimmer but you just want like glow it's a great product to use and then the other blush that i love 
and actually, I've actually hit pan on is my Han Skincare Cosmetics Blush in the shade Glory. It is what I'm wearing currently. It's just a nice glowy peach, which is beautiful if I just want like more of like a beachy look or just need like, just like a little wash of color. I love this. Again, it has a light to it, but not shimmer. And it is... I don't know if you can see it, but it's great if you're fair skin. Um, would buy again once I run out. I have one bronzer and then one contour thing. And so my bronzer that I use is this one. This is a repurchase. This is the Han Skincare Cosmetics Bronzer in the shade Ibiza. It is lovely. I use it all the time. I also use it on my lids for an eyeshadow if I'm like really lazy one day and I just need something there. Um, I did use it on my eyes today with the Charlotte Tilbury um, this guy here, which I'll talk about in a second, but it's just really easy to use. I have gone through a full size one. I have gone through one in the past. I did repurchase it recently and it's been like my go-to bronzer for over a year now. And then for contour, I have this guy, which is a newer purchase to me. And I don't see myself repurchasing it because I don't use it enough, but I am going to use it up because it was kind of pricey. This is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. It's their easy contour sculptor in the shade... I think there's just one shade. I might be lying, but I don't see a shade on here. Mm. Fair medium. I lied. It's called fair medium. Um, it looks like poop when you put it on. Like it's like a weird, like brown, disgusting bit. And you're like, <laughs> what did I do? But I used it today and you can't really tell. It just kind of just like blends out so effortlessly that it just gives like the slightest bit of shadow, but without any type of pigment underneath. I don't know how it does it. Um, but it is really nice. I just don't see myself repurchasing it because it's a cream and I'm going through it pretty quickly. So I don't think I'm really getting enough uses out of it. It's just something I don't need because I just love this bronzer so much. Like it's just like topped all the other ones that I have. So I have it. I'm going to use it, but I don't see myself repurchasing it in the future. I have one brow product. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I have a couple other things that I've gotten through work that I haven't pulled out yet, but this is the one that I purchased, would repurchase, love. This has been like my only brow product for almost a year now. Um, this is a repurchase. This is the Urban Decay Brow Blade, as I've said. It, one side is... A little brush and the other side is similar to like an Anastasia brow is it's just like a pencil and the brush side is amazing if you have no brow hairs I have very little of a tail and the very front of my brows is very sparse so you can get like really precise almost looks like brow hairs looks um, without it looking like crazy fake or anything like that it's such a good product if you don't have many brow hairs and then for an eyeshadow base I have this one from Terra Mare, and it's just their eyeshadow base. I got it in a subscription box. I'll just use it, um, but I don't see myself repurchasing it. I don't know what the price is, but I just don't use it enough again to justify the cost. And then my one mascara that I've been using is this um, It Cosmetics Lash Blowout. I've gone through two of these so far. It's phenomenal. It just like lifts and lengths and volumizes. It makes my lashes look like I have more than I do. All right, so the final thing before moving on to the rest of eyes and lips is this guy here from Charlotte Tilbury. It doesn't even need an introduction. You guys know I love it. I use it all the time. I used it today. It's just easy. It's the Eyes to Mesmerize in Marie Antoinette. And I originally had bought, and I had a second color. I ended up just giving it away because I wasn't using it as much. So I love this one so much. 100% will purchase again when I run out. It's so good. Um, but now let's move on to eyeshadows and lips. I like to have a little bit of variety in certain areas of my collection and it just makes it seem like I have a bigger collection than I do because you can always like play up my eye. So I can always play up my eyes and do different combinations and it just feels new. So I have first my Viseart Trist palette. This is this one here. It's really pretty. It looks really good with my blue eyes because it has like lots of pinks. It has a couple purples. Um, it has some neutrals in here. It's just a really beautiful palette. I love this peachy one here. It's just something I use at least a couple times a week. This is probably my favorite palette. I think I would say it's my favorite palette. This one I have, which is my Milani Soft and Sultry. And 
I keep it around even though it's not exciting just because it has all of my bases when it comes to neutrals. It has a cool tone, it has a warm tone, it has a little bit of shimmer, um, it has some darker shades if I need some shadow, it has some really nice grungy colors if I need something like that. So it just covers all my bases when I need like a transition color. It's such a good one to have for like a tool. And then I have two other palettes. One I purchased first and it was this little bitty bee guy. This is the little one from Lawless and it's such a good like again companion palette or like a traveling palette because it has some nice warm tones it has a black if I wanted like to do some type of liner look or if I nearly wanted to smoke it out it has just like a cream it has some really pretty golds it just is a, like an what I need if I'm like going to Disney and I just need like one thing with me I use this and it's just like really easy and convenient I have the little one from Lawless and I don't think I need it as much anymore because I have the bigger version now. Um, this one was on sale recently and I did purchase it with my beauty budget. Um, and I got it because a couple of my other palettes had seen their date. Um, there was the one from Milani, the Bold Obsessions, which was not workable anymore. I kept trying to like make it work because the shadows were just getting like hard pan and they just weren't performing well. So I ended up going with this when it went on sale because I know I love this one. But I feel like now I don't need this one as much because most of the colors are in this already. It has some nice like cranberry colors, has lots of oranges and warm tones and shimmers, has that black that I could use again. This one is new to me, but I'm loving it so far. Um, I'll give you more of an opinion later. I've only had it for a couple of weeks, but I think now I don't need the, the little one just because again, all those colors are already in here. Like I don't need both of these, but um, I'm going to keep on holding on to this one for a little bit longer and if I don't use it I'll probably hand it off to someone while it's still in really good condition. Let's move on to the final eyeshadow bit and this is an area that I don't mind growing because I consider like this thing as one item. This is my single shadows. This is where I can have like a variety of things but it's still like contained in like one item without it getting overboard. So uh, this is my single shadows currently. I have lots of space for more if I needed, um, but these are all just singles. This row here, I think it's just this row here, is actually depotted from a palette from uh, Juvia's Place. And then the other ones are all from JD Glow, which are gorgeous. I'll let you see a closer version. But they're all shimmers. They're all just fun. If I just need like a different color like on my lid, I just go to this, pick one, and just like pop it there. And then finally, let's move on to lips. My lip collection has dwindled down quite a bit recently. I got rid of some of the glosses because I realized I wasn't using them. Uh, I have some real favorites right now, and I don't see myself like picking up anything in the near future just because I feel like I have my bases covered and I'm really happy with it. So first I have just like a lip balm. This is the Kush lip balm from Milk. I just, I think I got this as gratis. It's just like a little small size, but it's been lasting really well. It makes my lips seem really hydrated. It has like a little bit of shine to it. So if I need a gloss, I just like tap that like in the middle if I need to. I have an addiction a little bit with my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. So I have four of them. One I could probably part ways with, but I still use it. Like I still use it all the time. It's just like really close to another color, but I don't want to get rid of it. I really love these so much. The packaging it just makes me feel so excited to put on lipstick. Like they're just fun to carry around because they're so pretty. Anyways, I have four of them. They're all in the matte revolution line. This one here is still a matte, but it's in their other line. Uh, it's the one where you can like replace the inside. So let's, let's just go through them real quick of what they are. The first one I have is Very Victoria. This is the one that I could probably part ways with. I got it during the holidays, but I really like wearing it. It's like just like a cool toned pink, kind of like a rosy pink. But then I also have, let's see, where is it? Pillow Talk, which is my first one of the Charlotte Tilbury line. And this one is just slightly more pink. Like they're so close in color, but I do see a difference. I feel like Very Victoria is a little bit cooler where this one is on more the neutral end. So I don't need Very Victoria, but I'm going to keep it because I still wear it and love it and use it all the time. Um, next we have the Red Carpet Red, which is my favorite red product. 
It is so stunning. And this these all dry down to a matte finish, but they're very soft. Like they don't feel like it's like drying your lips out or anything. Um, so even though it's a red and it's crazy bold, it doesn't move or budge or get weird throughout the day, which I love. And then I have this one in Karina Stars, which is again in their fun packaging, which these bullets are replaceable if you go on the Charlotte Tilbury website. And this one is more of a orange. So those are my lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I have this one here from Physicians Formula. This is such a good product if I just want like that beachy look, effortless look. I like things that are glossy. So we have this, this one here, which is just like a peach, but it has a lot of shine to it. It's really comfortable, again, effortless. And then I have two of these lip clicks. I have one from Sephora Collection, and it's like a gloss, but in a stick form. This one is in the shade of Blackberry. It is what I'm wearing. It's just like a cool toned, I don't know what you would call it. It's like a purple, but it's nothing loud. As you can see, I'm wearing it right now. It's just like a mauve, but really wearable. And then the final one that I have is the Kasha lip click thing in the shade crazy yeah it's in the shade crazy and this one is just like a pinky nude but lots of shine and that's that one there so that is everything within my makeup collection i just wanted to make this video now because i know i am getting a ton of gratis soon maybe you've seen a video maybe not but just know that these are the things that i consider my collection and then when you see my videos where like the will I keep it videos, you can know whether or not they are going into this collection or if they are not. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming back today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.